What is going on guys? My name is Ramon back again from Moment Reviews here with another episode reaction to Kaguya-sama Love is War episode 6 of season 2 which is called I Don't Want to Make Eno Smile. I want to make Eno smile and Kaguya isn't getting called. Now I, I do find it funny that a lot of people were very um, up at arms. Well not really up in arms just very outspoken when it comes to Miko and I was actually really surprised. I didn't know how many fans she had and I'm actually I'm actually pleasantly surprised. I, I, I think she She's a great character. Um, I love her more and more. Uh, every time we get to see more interactions with her and Ishigami, uh, which you will see later on down the line, um, without really spoiling anything. Um, and I am curious as to just see what's going to happen with the rest of the show. I don't really remember how this happens. Again, I did say that this is going to be the episode where it wraps up this whole presidential debate. I'm pretty sure that's how it's going to maybe end. But I was going to say that until I read the last part, which is Kaguya isn't getting called. The only thing I can think of was during the time where she got a... She was. I think she was waiting a phone call for Shirogane. I don't. I thought that was in first season. I might just be remembering wrong. Uh, but I am curious as to see what's going to happen. But anyways, guys, I'm ready to jump into this episode reaction. So without further ado, let's jump into episode six of second season of Kaguya Love Loves War. Starting in three, two, one. Let's jam. Just turn up just slightly. It's a little low on my end. Again, I do apologize if your background noise, um, my my computer is acting up a little bit. I don't, I don't care how many times I had to say this. Justice for Hayasaka. Of all the characters who really deserve to find love and happiness, her she's probably up there. Same thing with Ishigami to an extent, too. See, I need to listen to the song much more so I can start reciting it. But I only know... <laughs> Daddy, daddy, do. Remind me, has the hand on the face been explained this yet? I don't remember... I don't remember a lot of the build-up to this, though, so... Yeah. And then I remember that some people were saying that the other character, the girl with this glasses right here, is also like what one of the most um sought after.
this is definitely like putting Miko in a lot more better air than I, than that I remember in the manga. Dude, public speaking is so hard. See, the best way to win an election is to go up stage and start dancing. Especially to Jamiroquai. <laughs> if you guys get that reference, I like you. Get everyone's attention, possibly, with that. Yep. Gotcha. I thought so. Using graphs, holes. <laughs> Hi, Osaka. Nice. Okay, I see what they're doing. It's to prevent them from, um. Yep. To prevent them from, uh. Speaking a little bit freely. Bali, interesting choice. Everyone just all cheering and applauding. So it's a little bit loud on my end. I'm just going to turn it down just slightly. Pulling out no stops. Yeah, visual aids. So much more helpful. Gets your point across. You can even BS. Hmm. See, they're also making this significantly more... They're also making this... Um, oh my gosh, I just lost my train of thought. Much more impactful. Much more... Like, you didn't get the sense of... Depth. I feel like, than in the manga. The manga, it's hard to get this kind of uh, feel of emotion with the visual style, the music. That's why I absolutely love this. I don't think I've said it. I, I think I've said this multiple times. And I think I've said this every single episode. But this adaptation, though. I love this, like, this style. That's, this is great. Uh, amazing. Ishigami is a great character. Great bro. I think Ishigami has probably one of the most amount of depth outside of Hayasaka.
I don't think I could do that. See, I, I don't remember. I don't remember if people were paraded around, um, if they were doing super well in school. High school was not like that at all. Um, in fact, I actually had class with the Valley Victorian, really cool dude. Um, but they didn't parade him around. He just did his work and was just a smart ass dude. I do wish we got more of the girl in the glasses. I know someone had like someone in my comment section be um, beforehand was saying like talked about her. Miko Miko has good depth too, um, but I kind of do wish we had more of her. I want to see just more of her. But definitely, I can see a lot of people who are anime-only people, um, very, very, um, understanding of her now. Isn't that, like, not allowed? <laughs> but I definitely agree. Ishigami. Ishigami actually gave her a chance. Gives her a chance. Laser pointers. So this is less of a, I'm just going to go say my point and then move on and more of a uh, debate. So it's much easier to speak to one person. Like I, I think I could actually do that. If I was, if most, the majority of my attention was focused on one person, I think I could actually speak in front of a um, crowd like this. It'd still be there. Don't get me wrong. I still feel like those beady eyes pointing at me. But for the most part, I could definitely see myself be like, oh, okay. Not really. <laughs> Yeah, shaved heads, it's it's kind of like people who are bald. It works for some people really well. But not everyone. True. I mean, honestly, I'm pretty... For me, it's not this. It's it's not that bad because you know I just throw in a beanie. I'm good to go. Also, love that shot right there where we just uh, zoom in. Good shit. Good good shit. A1 pictures. That was good. That was good.
Is that a JoJo pose? This music always gets me. So, if it wasn't for Ishigami, not only... Not only did... He save her from embarrassment, but... In the end, I don't know if he was planning for this, but he also got got it so people at least were are on her side. Uh, Cause she was close. Cause it was a close. <laughs> that was cute. That was actually really close. Holy shit. <laughs> I, I'm surprised there's only 500 people. I mean, again, this is a uh, school for the prestige in the top of the cream. Cream of the crop. Bullshit. Justice! Now kiss! I know some people have wife wars, and that's okay. Some people like Shinomiya. Totally understandable. God fucking damn it, Subject F! <laughs> I was trying to have an emotional moment, too. But I don't care what anyone says. My best girl, Hayasaka. That's why I love the Dojin. Not that kind of Dojin. There's another, like, spin-off Dojin. It's not hentai. I mean, I'd be frustrated, too, you won that close. But if you think about it, you still won in the long run. I don't remember what she does. Okay, that's why I was like, I don't think she was part of it. Miko, I literally just said Hayasaka's the best girl. You can't know. That's cheating. That's cheating. Uh uh. I call foul play. <laughs> you what? You, you don't think you're gonna. Yeah, you guys really think? Oh, Ishii got me smiling. There's his office. I mean... <laughs> <laughs> Do you really think that's the case? <laughs> she has a Kaguya app? Okay. I mean...
I love how like she's having a conflict inside within her. <laughs> that was so good audio wise. That was so. Uh, oh my god, that was so good. Then told us. <laughs> oh, so this is what Kagesama or Kagesama wants to be called. I see that little. If you noticed, if you looked at her eyes, she was starting to slip back into Ice Kaguya. And then Hayasaka kind of was like, oh wait, two birds with one stone. One, I can snap her out of it. And two, boom. She had some. She had. She went back to that deadpan eyes again. Hold on. I'm legitimately curious on where they're going to end this uh, season. Sunk you. Oh, uh, that too. Are you gonna come out with your? Uh... It wasn't below the waist. No. It wasn't below the waist. You can't get me with a circle game. You deserve special treatment too, Hayasaka. <laughs> True. Okay, I had a feeling that's exactly how they're going to end this um, episode. Wait, 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 wait. It looks like there's extra right there. That's not right. Hold on. Okay, no, it's just it, okay. It was literally just the um the seeking. All right. That is the end of that episode. All right. So this one was much less folks on the laughs. This is where you start getting into more of the moments where you start to see more serious focus things. I mean, we did get to see that in the first season. Um, but this is going back into one of those roots. I mean, it's not really delving super into the seriousness that doesn't happen until later on where i would say the majority of it is almost entirely serious although um the mangaka is brilliant in being able to balance out comedy in a serious note uh, setting um because i remember there was like a really serious scene i'm not going to spoil what it is uh, in case you haven't read the manga uh but there's a really serious scene between people and then um Subject F as being subject F and and it's funny and I was like it it, it cut some of the tension out but it wasn't uh, a distract it was one of those like oh, okay it's a little bit of a breather and then we can go right back into it it's just one of those the mangaka is very well at doing that and I gotta give him props um, but I also again I will always give props to the adaptation artists uh, A1 Pictures knocking it out of the park once again with the 
with the style of how they're animating things and how they're presenting the show this way absolutely fantastic anyways guys i'm gonna go wrap this up i'm gonna hurry up and um, upload it um but yeah anyways guys thank you guys so much for watching hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode of reaction and i will see you guys next time see ya